Hello friends, welcome to the world of learning and growing. I am Dr. Purnima Kale and today I'm going to discuss that what I do for a living. I am a doctor and to be very specific, I am a radiation oncologist. So radiation oncology is a branch which, which is a form of cancer treatment. So uh, I get this question asked really, really a lot that why did you choose this branch as a career option? Because uh, during my MBBS days, I was um, a really bright student. I have seven distinctions in MBBS. And after that, this uh, branch is not really a first choice of uh, a NEET aspirant. So I completed my MBBS, I appeared for my NEET PG. And uh, mainly all the toppers or all the best performers go for branches like medicine, surgery, gynecology, or radiology. But my preference was radiation oncology from the from the start because there are a various personal and professional reasons for it and the personal reason is really close to my heart because uh, as we know that cancer is gripping our society like an evil it is spreading like a wildfire and it gripped my grandmother when i was in the sixth grade she was diagnosed with a brain tumor and she did not survive for a very long time after that so that persisted in my head for a very long time and when i got into mbbs i wanted to do something for the patients who were diagnosed with cancer because as we all see that all of the other diseases are curable they are treated patients get completely cured and they go on with their lives but cancer is a stigma in our society so this these people or this disease needs the most attention and the most care so i think i could probably help those and therefore i chose this branch so this is my personal reason, but there are various professional reasons as well. So if you are a need PG aspirant or if you are trying to decide your career line, today we are going to talk about some aspects of this branch. First and foremost, where do you want to settle? You should be clear on this part before you opt for this branch because this is a branch which can only thrive in the metropolitans or a big city where you have cancer centers. Because point number one, the radiation machine that we use for the cancer treatment costs around 25 to 30 cr minimum so doing your own setup is a really far-fetched dream and it is really difficult for uh, for us in the initial phase to do an investment like that so you uh, try and opt for a corporate job or you could uh, join any cancer center or a medical institute or a medical college who provides these facilities so this is really important that you need to be clear on where do you want to settle this branch is not for the people who want to settle in their own village or the hometown so this is a big no-no second this is a purely clinical branch and therefore this is an amalgamation of all the clinical subjects now you would wonder how so let me give you an example so you have to study about head to toe everything. So if a patient can present with cancer at any site and you have to study about every part of the body, it is not limited to a particular part. So if uh, there is a patient of breast cancer who presents to you, you have to know the examination of breast, axilla and the surrounding region. If the patient of cancer cervix presents to you, you have to uh, examine the cervix, vagina, you have to do per speculum, per vaginum examination. If a uh, patient of oral cavity cancer, oropharynx or larynx present to you, you have to do the oral cavity examination and direct laryngoscopy and everything. So there's a part of ENT which comes into practice. So this is a purely clinical branch which amalgamates every other branch that you know. And the most important and interesting thing is every patient is treated with the help of a CT scan or an MRI. And therefore, you have to be a radiologist as well in this. So this is a very interesting branch. But let me make uh, let me tell you that there is a lot of physics involved don't be scared i also skipped my maths after uh, my 10th standard because i was not good at it and i barely cleared my physics with decent marks but i really did not enjoy physics doing it all along but when i stepped into this branch i was aware that there were four papers to clear my md and the first one was physics okay so this physics is not what we uh, what we were taught in school or in the college this is more related to the treatment options that we have the radiations that we are using for patient treatment so i would not say that this is very difficult but you have to have the mindset of studying physics because that is also an integral part of the uh, branch itself secondly uh, this branch is having a interaction with the cancer patient himself 
so you have to have a very good communication and emotional acumen because everybody is in a lot of pain they are in a lot of social stigma they are having a lot of emotional backdrop that they are carrying and you as a physician are just not treating a common cold you have to be empathetic towards the patient and you have to have those patient relationships that a doctor must harbor to get into this branch and you do a service to mankind from this there are a lot of patients they are coming up even in my immediate background or immediate families also i see a lot of them have been diagnosed with cancer and i think that i have done the best thing that i have chosen the best career option because it gives me a wholesome feeling that i am able to serve the society i am actually trying to help people with the most dreaded disease so this i think is a very cool part of this branch and i haven't come to the coolest part yet the best part is in this branch you are a physician as well as a surgeon let me tell you how so there is a procedure called as brachytherapy in which the uh, needles and the radiation sources are implanted right inside the tumor and you treat it so for this you have a proper ot you have a proper anesthetist coming on to you it can be done under general anesthesia or spinal anesthesia and you are the primary operating surgeon there so you just this is not just an opd branch you get the feel of ot as well so this is a complete package if you see many people don't know about this branch because in mbbs we don't have the subject or we are not having a posting in the internship for this subject so i think this is coming up in a really really big way people don't know because i was a topper and a distinction holder and when i chose this branch people were aghast at they said why did you choose this branch because there are only three there were only three seats when i took this branch in uh, two in gmc nagpur and one in mjm sevagram and uh, there are 22 seats of general surgery in gmc nagpur itself so now you see the ratio uh, of this and i think i did the best uh decision i took the best decision at the right time because this is a branch that i don't think would have fulfilled all my desires or uh, i am a complete overall doctor and there are no oncological emergencies as such so this is more of a chill branch on that front but you get to do all the other procedures you get to do pain management you get to do all the procedures uh, if the oncologist is not there you can also do pleural tap Uh, a cytic tapping and uh, even you can take your own biopsies in a medical institute setting but definitely not in a corporate setting and one more really really controversial question i've been asked that is can you practice chemotherapy so yes we are authorized to practice chemotherapy so as we have four papers first is physics second is radiotherapy third is chemotherapy so we are authorized to practice chemotherapy all the uh, medical oncologists that you have they do mbbs then they do md medicine and then they go for dm medical oncology so there is five five and a half years then three years uh, then one year bond again three years and one year bond but that in radiation oncology you can just do after mbbs so this is just mbbs then three years one year bond and you are ready to go so chemotherapy is also coming up in a big way targeted therapies immunotherapy is also coming up in a big way but let me tell you that a radiation oncologist is authorized to practice chemotherapy as well so there is a plus 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 in everything and i really up till now cannot find any negative aspects of this branch so i've uh, completed my md and i've recently cleared my dnb as well so i think i have known the subject for over 4 4 and a half years now and i've been really happy with what i get to do with this branch so i think if you want to have this branch as a as your career option you can definitely go ahead with it you just have to be clear about certain points how you want your life to be and how you want to live and uh, what you think is your rich life so i think uh, i would wish all the neat pg aspirants and the people who are trying to take the branches and uh, who are making decisions right now i would uh, wish you all the very 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 best and yes radiation oncology is a branch you won't want to miss thank you